Hey, what's going on guys? Andre here from Cyberpunk Tech. And today we're actually gonna take a look at what is behind this door. Behind this door is actually where the magic happens for the channel. I guess you can call this a studio office setup tour. Shall we go in? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you guys before we do go in, Please subscribe to the channel, like this content if you enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to get 200 subscribers by the end of this year, so let's make that happen. Now let's go in. Welcome to Cyberpunk Tech Studios, guys. We've got two setups, mine here on the right. My girlfriend's over on the left. We're gonna start with hers in particular. Um, I did not clean hers up whatsoever because well, all her schoolwork is here. I do not want to get in the way of her mojo. Could be bad karma for midterms coming up right away. But of course, all the links will be down in the description below. And to kick things off, here we have messy Project Lilac uh, RGB case in the Thermal Take Versa C21. It is rocking uh, Ryzen 5 1400, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 G Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, um, and a 1050 Ti. Over there, license plate, custom license plate. Um, some really cool artwork provided by one of our close friends, Tor. This is all just like line art, which is absolutely incredible the way it looks. Um, some cool tapestries from where my girlfriend's from. She is from the Yukon. Now moving on over to her setup. We are both actually rocking the Cooler Master Master Keys Light uh, RGB mechanical mouse and keyboard card on screen right now if you guys want to check that review out and also here she's rocking two 24 inch BenQ monitors uh, model number is I don't know if you guys can see GW 2470 24 inch monitors uh, lots of sticky notes thousand uh, dollar textbooks right here just chilling calculator um, this is an Asus vivo book with eight gigabytes of RAM uh, what else is this little puppy rocking Intel Core i5 940 MX. I don't know if you guys can see upside down, but it doesn't matter. And yes, that is about everything for her setup and her part, I suppose. Here we have just a nice big window. Moving over to the communal area right here. Not, not a whole lot, just a workspace. Phoenix uh, printer. We picked it up for about $30. Printers are so damn expensive and I refuse to pay the ink so I'll buy them on sale and just recycle the printers. Sorry guys. Quirk board with upcoming due dates because we are in college, we are in school so we do have to get everything else done. Now here is my setup. This is what you guys actually see in the background of my videos. And starting off with the computer, I am rocking a 1070 Strix, a 6700K Skylake clocked at 4.2 gigahertz from Intel, 32 gigabytes of HyperX RAM, hoping to upgrade to 64 right away, Corsair AIO cooler, and the processor is actually sitting on a MSI Gaming M5 motherboard. Everything is powered by Corsair RM850X, and for storage, we just have two 250 gigabyte SSDs. Now the case, if you're wondering, this is the Corsair 760T full tower windowed, tinted on the glass on the other side. Um, extended Cor or not Corsair Hyper X mouse pad. I love my extended mouse pad. It is very dirty, needs a quick wash, but nonetheless, love it, love it, love it. Um, again, the same mouse and keyboard combo as my girlfriend. We are rocking the Cooler Master Master Keys Light L with mechanical switches. Sounds mechanical, but it is still membrane. Works very good, about eighty dollars. Links will be in the description. And here I've got two Asus 27 inch monitors. Um, don't know the exact model number, I'll try and find it for you guys and link it down below. My channel, if you guys aren't subscribed, there will be a subscribe button around here somewhere. Click it, click it, click it. More videos that you guys might have not seen, so definitely go check them out. And above here I have my Real Madrid scarf, which I am absolutely in love with. I figured my setup does need a little bit of personality, so that's what I actually chose to go with. And above, we have a little IKEA shelf with a Rec Room plushie, which I actually won myself, a pair of Ray-Bans, uh, some cool Egypt uh, King Titan pyramids, and of course a nice little succulent plant. 
Um, moving over here, I actually have a little storage unit more or less. Um, on top here where you actually have the Corsair Void RGB wireless gaming headset. Over here, um, power strip from Aki where I actually, more of a charge station, I keep everything plugged in, USBs, uh, camera chargers. Moving down, we actually use my uh, Nikon D3400 calculator, a blue Yeti and an Airwick because I do like this place smelling nice and fresh. More expensive ass textbooks. Um, some cable management stuff, some stuff that I was supposed to review but I never got around to it. And back here I actually have my camera bag, my tripod and my DSLR slider. Um, I do also have about a sound bar over there which I was thinking of mounting up there but it won't really look symmetrical with my monitor so I'm like yeah I don't know what to do with it. But what I'm actually contemplating doing is installing it under the table which I'll go right under there right now. But talking about the desk itself, it is the IKEA Linman. I don't know if you guys remember from my old setup, it was just two Alex drawers and then with a huge white tabletop on top. Well, because now we're in a different office, I needed, I figured we could have gone with two setups, but I also forgot to mention, PS4 controller for some of my gaming experience over on the computer and my Surface 3 Pro. Love this thing. Anyway. We went with, again, Linman Alex, and then we took a few tabletops. We got the curved tabletop as well, mounted everything together. And going underneath, I'll show you guys how we've actually done that, but we can also take a quick look at the cable management. Everything's pretty nicely off the ground up there. Nothing on the ground. Um, if you guys see, just because normally another leg was supposed to go there, and another one over there, but we actually bought tie plates from Home Depot. To reinforce that so we wouldn't have any issues with that now my cable management's a lot cleaner than my girlfriend's um, I'm not gonna say that she did her own cable management because it was still me I was just very lazy because I preferred mine to look better but if we keep looking under the table slightly to the left this is why I have that air freshener there slightly more to the left there's a pug, there's a pug under the table, and <laughs> look at her. Hey, sugar. Oh, her beady eyes. Anyway, guys, um, moving back over here. This is actually really weird from the living room. There is like a weird hole in the wall. So like here, just like a nice plant. Uh, you guys might've seen this on some of my reviews. I actually have a nice little lamp here. Um, on some of these shelves, we just have some Headphones hanging around, some like loose cables and stuff that I don't really give a damn about. And here up top, we have actually my light source. This is how I've been like illuminating my videos. It is not the greatest, but if I turn it on, like look, I can't really tell right now, it's daylight, but like, it's a little bit better. Nothing to really diffuse the light, but it definitely adds a nice little light source. Um, for the chairs, we are not rocking anything too too fancy just some staples chairs ikea chairs keeping everything minimalistic just for productivity purposes and yeah this is the headquarters basically of cyberpunk tech where i'm hoping eventually we'll get bigger we'll be able to do some more cool stuff in here and now yeah this this is the studio thank you guys for watching but i'm not done yet Okay, so I don't know if you guys know, some of you may know, some of you may not, I am doing a little series which is called Mod Monday where every Monday we do showcase some of the cooler modifications you guys have done to your desk setup, to your keyboard, custom keycaps, your water cooled computer, your cool camera gear. And I am asking you guys for some more entries. The ones I've actually been sent have been super, super dope so far. So thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, if you guys do wanna participate, try and get engaged. Uh, the email you should be sending your photo or multiple photos, which I do prefer, uh, is cyberpunk.technet at gmail.com. Please send your entries over there and I can guarantee you guys, you will get over on the on the series because it's not about some like other series where it's about like making fun of people. It's just about showcasing the PC master race, you know, just showing everything that we have, everything we've worked for, whether it's our money or like our help, our parents helped us invest in if you're a little younger or just 
anything, any cool things you guys have done, like skin, like in the previous episode, we saw a PS4 skin, like a Nike shoe box, which just looks super awesome, super clean, and it's super amazing. So I would like to keep the series going. I would need more entries because um, just single photos from the internet doesn't really work. Some of them are not big enough to put into a video file. So I would appreciate if you guys took your smartphone, snapped a few pictures, set up some cable management stuff, and we will go right from there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, studio setup tour. I think it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what I could change, I don't know, maybe I should put some stuff over there, maybe a nice big poster or something. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below, subscribe, uh, like this video, and yeah, links down below for everything that we have. I'll catch you guys in the next video.